Hello, first graders. It's Miss Vanderhoff. Um, happy Wednesday. And this week we are doing some math together. And I know that yesterday you measured length with Miss Fraser. I hope that you guys tried Miss Fraser's measuring challenge about measuring things around your house with different objects. And today we're going to be measuring weight and mass. So our learning target today is that by the end of today, I will be able to measure weight using non-standard units and compare the weight of two objects using the words lighter, heavier, and equal. So to start, I'm going to show you a little bit of information about some words that we're going to be talking about today when we talk about weight or mass. So we have the word heavy and heavier. So when we talk about the word heavy and heavier, that means that something weighs more than something else. So if you see that little picture of the boy who's trying to carry the bag and it's very heavy. And we have the word light or lighter. And so if something's light, it weighs less. And sometimes things are going to weigh the exact same amount. And so we'll call them equal. And so here are some pictures of some things that are heavy and some things that are light. So when something weighs a lot, it's heavy. And heavy things can be really hard to pick up. And so some examples of heavy things, look, he's trying to carry a really heavy rock. This person's picking up a really heavy weight. That boy has a really heavy backpack. So if you think of things that are really hard to pick up, when you have them in your hand, your arms feel like they're going to drop down, that means it's really heavy. And then when something only weighs a little, it's light. And light things are easy to pick up. So some things that are light, here a person's holding a feather. If you ever picked up a feather, it's light. it feels like you're not even holding anything. So something that's really light in your hand, it's really easy to hold. And you feel like you can lift it up easily. A piece of paper, this tiny kitten. I put the kitten in so you guys know Mrs. Sheik loves cats, so i got to put the cat in for her. And then we have some tools that we use to help us measure weight. So this one is familiar to us, a balanced scale. So all different types of scales help us measure weight or mass. And I, I'm going to use the word weight and mass. So they're slightly different, but they mean similar things, weight and mass. So we're going to use the two words today. But basically, weight and mass means how heavy something is. So you can use a balanced scale, which we're going to use today. You might have a bath, but not all of us have scales that you have. Here's a bathroom scale that you can step on and see how much you weigh. I bet some of you have those at home. And some of your families might have a kitchen scale. It's a really small scale that you might measure the weight of food in your kitchen. So some of your families might have one of those too. And when we use a balance scale, I know that this is pretty familiar to us, but just to review, when we compare weight or mass on a balance scale, so we know when the balance scale is flat, that means that the weight or mass on both sides of the scale are equal. So here we get to those two buckets of the popcorn weigh the same amount. They're equal in weight. And when one side of the balance scale goes down, it means that one, that side is heavier. So whichever side goes down, that side is heavier than the other side. So in this picture, the baked beans weigh more than the can of tuna, or you can say the can of tuna weighs less than the baked beans. So, so you might say the baked beans are heavier and the tuna is lighter. All right, so knowing those things, I have a balance scale here. And I want to see if we can try measuring a couple things. Oh, and I have another, I have all the three types of scales. So I have the balance scale. I have this from school, but I didn't know not all of us have a balance scale at home. But here's my bathroom scale. So you might have one that looks kind of like this that you can step on. Uh, bathroom scales are good for weighing heavy things, um, but they won't always measure a small thing. Like if you put like a marker or a pen on there, it might not be able to weigh it. And then I've got a small kitchen scale here. Sometimes I use this when I do cooking to make sh to measure out how much the food weighs. And so kitchen scales are good for really small things. And if your family has those things at home, you can ask for your parents' permission. And if they say it's OK, you might be able to, to weigh different things around your house and see how much they weigh. All right, so first, I'm going to compare the weight of two things. So here, I've got a glue stick. And here I have a whiteboard marker. And first, let's predict. Think about a glue stick and a marker. They're about the same in size. What do you predict will happen when I put them on the scale? Which one do you think might be heavier? Hmm. 
Now, if I'm holding them in my hand, and this is something you can do at home, you can hold them in your hand and try to feel which one feels heavier, which one makes my arm kind of go down more than the other. And then if you have a balance scale, you can test it out by putting them on the balance scale. So I'm going to put them both on the balance scale, and we'll see which of these two is heavier. All right, hopefully it doesn't fall off. All right, so I'm seeing one side of the balance scale go down. So we're going to use a sentence. I'll start with the marker. So would you say the marker is lighter or heavier than the glue stick? So since the marker went up and the glue stick went down, I'd say the marker is lighter than the glue stick. It weighs less. And then that means that the glue stick is heavier. The glue stick is heavier than the marker because the glue stick went down. Now I can also, so that's comparing the weight of two objects. So I can see now the glue stick weighs more and I can also measure it in non-standard units. So a standard unit would be something like if you've heard people talk about weighing things in pounds or ounces or grams or kilograms, those are standard units. But we're, and you're going to learn a lot about those in second grade. But for first grade, we're going to measure things. For today, we'll measure using cubes. So I'm going to find out how many cubes is going to be equal to the weight of this glue stick. We know it's heavier than the marker. So let's see. I put the glue stick on one side. And I'm going to put cubes on the side until the scale balances. And that will tell me how heavy my glue stick is. So I now have four. Five, still heavier. Six, seven, starting to move a little bit. Eight, ooh, I'm seeing something happen. Let's see. Hmm, it looks almost balanced. It might be between two. Let me put one more. Hmm. Now it looks like that one's a little too much. Here it is with eight. Looks like it's closest to eight. So I can say, the glue stick weighs eight cubes. So here's my math sentence. The glue stick weighs eight cubes. It's equal to the weight of eight cubes. Now I'm going to test out the marker. So if the glue stick weighs eight, and we know the glue stick weighs more than the marker, are you thinking, do you think that the marker will be more or less than eight cubes in weight? More or less? Hmm. Let's see. So here's our marker. Let's try one cube, two cubes, three cubes, maybe four cubes. Oh, I'm seeing some movement happen. Does it look like it's balancing? That looks pretty balanced to me. So it looks like the marker is equal to four cubes. Oh, you know what that's telling me? So the marker weighs four cubes. So if the glue stick weighs eight cubes and the marker weighs four cubes, and what do we know about four and eight? Four, if you double four, it's equal to eight, right? So what are you thinking about markers and glue stick? Are you thinking the same thing that I'm thinking? I wonder if two, glue, two markers is going to be equal to a glue stick. If the markers are each four and the glue stick is eight, then I'm thinking it might be equal if I put two markers here and one glue stick here. Let's see if it's equal. Pretty close. Sometimes the way you place them kind of changes it. Wow, so look, our prediction kind of came true that two markers is just about equal to one glue stick. And that makes sense based on the numbers we know. So because if one marker is equal to four, then two markers must be equal to eight. And that's the same. That's equal to what the glue stick weighs. Very interesting. Now, we could also, if we have two things that are the same, so I have two pens here. If I put these two identical pens on either side of my balance scale, what do you predict will happen? Do you think one will be heavier than the other, or do you think that they'll be equal? Let me put these on and see. Did that match your prediction? So it looks like this pen is equal in weight to this pen. Now let's measure and see how many cubes the pens are equal to. The pens feel 
feels very light. In fact, it feels lighter than the marker to me. So if the marker is four, maybe I'm going to think the pen might weigh maybe two. So I'm going to put the pen on. And let's try. Here's with one cube. Looks like it's still a little too light. How about two? Oh. Look at that. My prediction's coming true. It looks like a pen is equal to about two cubes. Oh, so that's telling me maybe if that's two cubes and a marker is four, then if I try two pens, do you think it'll be equal to a marker? Let me try. So this is the fun that we can have with weight. If you find out the weight of something, then you can compare it to other things. And if you find that it's like half the weight of something, then you can try to put two of them together and see if it'll be equal. Looks like it's kind of close, not quite, not exact, but pretty close. This, these must be um, maybe slightly more than two, two cubes, or this might be slightly less than four. Very interesting. So today we learned Today we learned some new words that help us measure weight. So we learned the word heavier. So if something makes the scale go down, if, it, if you're holding your hand and then your hand needs to go down when you're holding it, that thing is heavy or it could be heavier than something else. And if something's really easy to hold, it's called light. And something could be lighter than something else. If the scale goes up, it means that that thing is lighter than the other thing. And sometimes when the scale is balanced, we use our word equal. So I'm going to show you a game that you can play with your family, if you'd like, to help you practice comparing weights. So on your schedule for this week, you're going to have these cards that you can cut out. Now, if you have a printer, you can print them and cut them out. If you don't have a printer, like I don't have a printer that works in my house right now, so I could just write these words on cards, or you could even make up your own cards. You don't have to use the same pictures that I made. But I made some cards that have all different types of weights, some things that are very heavy, and some things that are very light, and some things in the middle. And here's how you play the game. So you can shuffle up, cut out the cards, and shuffle them up, and turn them over. And you play with a person, so each of you pulls up one card, and then you could play it a couple different ways. You could play it whoever has the heaviest thing wins, you could play whoever has the lightest thing wins. You could even act it out, like imagine that you're sitting on a seesaw and whoever has the heavy thing sits down and whoever has the light thing jumps up. So lots of different ways to play this game. So imagine if I'm playing and I pull the card that has the watermelon and then the person I'm playing with pulls the house and we are playing by whoever, is hev whoever has the heaviest object wins then I'd say that my partner with the house wins. So the house is going to be heavier than a watermelon. So you can, there's a lot of, you can do with this game. You can play who has the heaviest, who has the lightest, or you don't even have to play as a competition. Just act it out. So if I had the watermelon and they had the house, I would jump up because my thing is lighter. Like if I was sitting on the, on the balance scale, I would go up, and they would sit down because their side is heavier. So that's a game that you can play today. And if you happen to have scales at your house and your parents are okay with it, you can test out using the scale. Like if you have a small kitchen scale like I have, you can practice measuring the weight of objects. And, or if you have a bathroom scale, you can measure the weight. This is not really going to, if I put a glue stick on the bathroom scale, it's probably not going to notice because it's built for heavier things. But if you put heavy things like a stack of books or maybe you pick up your cat and stand on it and you can see how much you weigh holding the cat. And then if you step on it just yourself, then you can subtract and see how much your cat weighs. That's how people usually weigh their pets at the, at the vet, because pets don't always want to step on the scale. So usually the person has to pick up the pet and then just get out by themselves, and they subtract their own weight, and then you'll see how much the pet weighs. So lots you can do with measuring weight. I hope you guys do some exploring today and practice measuring weight and comparing different weights. And I hope that you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.